Police in Orlando arrested a hardened criminal, <laughs> hardened criminal, who threatened to shoot CVS employee, uh, pharmacy employees, if they didn't give him all the Viagra. Oh my God. Cops say Thomas Muse walked up to the pharmacy and handed over a note threatening to shoot the CVS employees if he didn't get all the bottles of Viagra. What? In addition to prescription drugs including oxycodone, Xanax, and Adderall. Oh my God. Well, you need something to. Bring you down later, I guess. I... Really? Something to bring you up, something Wait, to bring you down. You said this was in Orlando. This was in the, the, the villages with the one guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's north of Oh, okay. Workers okay. obliged and filled up bags of pills. As Tommy left the store, he was immediately greeted by police, and they took him into custody. Massive manhood muse was arrested and charged with several drug trafficking and possession charges, as well as armed robbery. Now he's hard up in jail. A Washington, D.C. firefighter who was with his partner and stopped for fast food while they were on an emergency call has what? been has been terminated. <laughs> you don't say. Two firefighter EMTs assigned to Ambulance 3 stopped at a Chick-fil-A in Northeast D.C. instead of responding to a call for a woman suffering chest pain about a mile away. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they had to get the chicken nuggies. Oh, my gosh. The firefighters say... <laughs> They had already ordered their food on an app when the emergency call came in, so they decided to stop, quote, literally a few minutes tops. Oh, my gosh. No, they're fired. Well, <laughs> Hopefully Chick-fil-A's hiring. Right? Yeah, I see firefighters all the time in Publix when I'm getting my pups up. Hopefully they're not on their way to an no. emergency. Should I be like, hey, guys, is there somewhere y'all need to be? No. Well, which one was the emergency? The Chick-fil-A nuggets <laughs> are done? Or the, oh, my gosh. Uh, Seriously? Uh, you know, there's always a line at Chick-fil-A, too, so I hope, I hope it didn't hold them up oh for too long. Of course, gosh. they're pretty efficient at getting you through it, right? Real. Oh, la la last but not least, all you need is the headline on this story. Okay. Panama City Mayor speculates an open container policy in downtown social district could increase divorce rates. <laughs> really? Well, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is that the goal? <laughs> yeah, they were, having a, they were having a council session or whatever. Right. The mayor speculated. And oh. Open container policy allowed in the social district downtown could increase divorce rates. <laughs> Raise your hand for yay or nay. You ever been down on 47th Terrace in Cape Coral on a Saturday night? Just saying. There's a few relationships that get rocky. All opposed, say. <laughs> those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories wherever you follow us on social media. Search Mel and Scott in the morning.